A controversy is unfolding in Luzerne County in the aftermath of a car crash early this morning in Harvey's Lake Borough. The police chief claims that a passenger in the car, Luzerne County Council member Joanna Bryn Smith, interfered with officers at the scene. She denies those allegations. 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live in the studio with what he's learned. Andy? Well, good evening, Candace. Smith insists she did not interfere with the investigation and denies asking for any type of special treatment or favors because she's a county council member. Harvey's Lake Police responded to a crash on West Point Avenue at about 5.30 Tuesday morning. The vehicle left the roadway, crashed into a ditch and a septic tank. These photos were taken by the homeowner. You can see Smith standing next to a police cruiser. The driver, Jose Adams, is now under investigation for suspicion of drunk driving. The police investigation, again, is ongoing. Smith has not been charged in connection with the crash. But according to a report in the Times Leader newspaper, Police Chief Charles Musil is quoted as saying, She was interrupting my officers, said you don't have to do this. She got very upset, very disrespectful. The Times Leader article also reports that numerous warnings were directed at Smith not to interfere with officers performing their duties at the scene. The police chief in that report says that Smith identified herself as an attorney and a county council member and asked for leniency. I reached out to Chief Musial numerous times for comment. I even went to a police station. We have not yet heard back. Smith sent this statement to the I-team. Yesterday I was involved in a vehicular incident as a passenger. I cooperated with the police at the scene. I did not voluntarily provide information that I was a member of the Luzerne County Council, nor did I request leniency in this matter. I expressly deny attempting to utilize my position with the County Council for any personal favor. At all times, my behavior conformed to the vehicle code, the rules of professional conduct, and my responsibilities and duties as a member of the Luzerne County Council. The driver will make full repair of the property damages and has already begun to do so. Smith is in her first of a four-year term sworn into office earlier this year. She's the woman wearing the pink outfit. Now, County Council Chairman John Lombardo issued this statement to 2822 News. I was contacted by the Chief of Harvey's Lake yesterday morning who informed me of the incident and said he was particularly upset by Ms. Smith's behavior on the scene. I then informed our county solicitor of the event and called Ms. Smith to get her side of the story. She told me a very different version of events and claimed she was cooperative with police. I will speak to council members in the coming days to determine if they want to seek more information and or take action on the matter. Now, county council cannot remove Smith from office. They can vote to censure her, which means basically condemn her actions and or send a complaint to the State Ethics Commission. Again, Ms. Smith insists she did nothing wrong. The investigation into the driver is ongoing, and we must point out again, we tried several times to reach Chief Musial. As of this very moment, we have not heard back. Nick and Katz, back to you. All right, Andy, thanks for the update.